All right, everybody, welcome back to yet another brand new video here on the channel. Today, I'm going over all of the Season 7 Week 9 challenges. In this video, you guys are going to know exactly what all of the challenges are and also how to complete every single one of them. Make sure to drop this video a like if you guys are, in fact, doing all of these challenges right now. Also, let me know if you guys are doing the challenges in the comments below. Make sure you guys are subscribed. My next goal is to hit 37,000 subs, so I appreciate it if you guys would go down and subscribe. Subscribe. And also make sure you guys are using my creator code. Hey, it's Ben J in the item shop. I do appreciate that a lot. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into all of the season seven week nine challenges for Fortnite. I have all the challenges for you guys right now, but I don't know which ones are going to be the free ones and which ones are going to be the battle pass challenges. But nonetheless, I have all seven challenges right here. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get into every single one. The first challenge is to hit three trash bins with an ice puck. This one's going to be fair really simple all you really have to do is go up to three separate trash bins and throw an ice puck at it it's as simple as that the trash bins look like this if you have not seen them already and these are scattered all throughout the map you can definitely knock out this challenge in one game this one is very simple i mean i usually come across at least like five of them a game like they're always in like the town areas like tilted retail salty they're also some scattered around like abandoned areas as well so you know it's going to be very simple to throw an ice puck at three different trash bins next this one's even easier use a sneaky snowman this is a common item that was recently added in fortnite i find at least a stack of sneaky snowmen every single game so really you just gotta throw one on and boom that challenge is done you only have to use one sneaky snowman that is it next complete three timed trials with the x4 Stormwing plane now this is a challenge we haven't seen before in the game and in my opinion this is the hardest challenge out of all of the week nine challenges i'm assuming the time trials are going to be like flying through different rings we've seen in the past time trials trials were like you have to build a certain path in order to hit all the clocks that spawn when you start the time trial so i'm pretty sure when it comes to doing time trials with the x4 storm wing it's just going to be like different rings you have to fly through i'm assuming this one's going to be fairly simple though usually the time trials aren't really a challenge you might have to spend a few games going to all of the different time trials just depending on like you know where the circle goes and all of that but if you get lucky you could probably knock out that challenge in one game as well next you're probably going to do this one without even knowing it's a challenge and that is shotgun eliminations you're gonna have to eliminate three different opponents and it's as simple as it sounds you grab any type of shotgun a pump attack really any shotgun available in the game and all you have to do is eliminate three opponents with that and boom that challenge is done next this one is also a fairly simple one eliminate opponents at junk junction or retail row you're gonna have to eliminate three opponents for this I've always been able to knock out this type of challenge in one game really I just go to the more popular location in this case it's definitely gonna be retail row so really in a game i'll just drop into retail and usually most of the time if i'm not complete trash i can usually pull out three eliminations in one game so once again a fairly simple challenge next this one is going to be a stage challenge so sadly you can't really knock this out in one game there's going to be five different stages for this one it's going to be like the landing at certain spots types of challenge if you guys know what i'm talking about you're gonna have to land at five different places in five different matches the first one's going to be retail row next frosty flight thirdly haunted hills fourth shifty shafts and finally dusty divot all in that order as for the difficulty goes it's not really that hard at all whatsoever you just have to land at the spot it's just kind of tedious going into five different matches and doing it five separate times and landing at five different locations but once again the difficulty not hard at all and finally the last challenge for week nine is dance at three different named locations once again a very simple task to do you just have to go to three different named locations on the map and just pop any emote you want any dance you want and boom just like that you're gonna complete that challenge quick and easy so that does it for all of these season 7 week 9 challenges all of them are very simple to be honest except maybe for the x4 Stormwing one that might be a little difficult for you but other than that all of them are pretty simple i mean there's not really much uh difficulty doing these challenges but anyway thank you guys all so much for watching this video covering all of these season 7 week 9 challenges in fortnite drop this video a like if you guys happen to enjoy this video also also, let me know in the comments below are you guys hyped to finally get the brand new prisoner skin that's going to be coming out when the week 9 challenges drop the snowfall skin finally revealed you're going to be able to unlock the snowfall skin or otherwise known as the prisoner once the week 9 challenges unlock i'm pretty excited for that but let me know if you guys are hyped as well in the comments below make sure to check out my last video there's a link to it in the description so go watch that video and leave that video a like and a comment and lastly most importantly please make sure to go down and subscribe to my 
YouTube channel and when you do make sure you turn on notifications so you never miss a new video of mine and yeah that's been it hopefully you guys did enjoy and I'll talk to you guys next time peace